iWords is an educational company and we develop evidence-based multi-sensory literacy resources all backed by scientific research. Our resources have become a staple for many teachers and families. iWords method and resources are designed to accelerate developing literacy skills and close reading gaps while at the same time building confidence, increasing engagement, and developing social connection. We at iWords have worked hard to develop an evidence-based, engaging, and meaningful approach to the teaching of high-frequency words. Our goal is to remove learning barriers for all learners and to create positive learning experiences and social connections. iWords was initially developed to complement existing phonemic awareness instruction in kindergarten and primary classrooms by providing a multi-sensory approach to teaching the high-frequency words. In addition to boosting the overall effectiveness of early literacy programs, it was quickly discovered that iWords has a tremendous benefit to differently abled learners, including those with the following learning exceptionalities, dyslexia, ADHD, autism spectrum disorder, central auditory processing disorder, working memory deficits, developmentally challenged, speech delayed, and English language learning. iWords was created by a multidisciplinary team of educators and speech and language pathologists in collaboration with students of different ages and abilities and researchers in an effort to address a need to differentiate reading instruction for learners. All written material consists of a high proportion of common words referred to as high frequency words. Researchers have determined that the hundred most common words make up approximately half of all the material we read, with the 25 most common words making up about a third, and the first 13 words making up about 25%. Learning to sight read the top 100 high frequency words gives beginning readers access to 50% of virtually any text, whether a children's book or a newspaper article. Early literacy programs often focus on teaching students to sight read or automatically read the high frequency words. Educators often use the terms high frequency words and sight words interchangeably. When a core of high frequency words becomes sight words, a reader's fluency and comprehension improve significantly. Given the need to sight read high frequency words, sight word instruction remains one component of a comprehensive literacy program for early readers and for older students who are experiencing reading difficulties as part of reading intervention. Multisensory learning is so impactful because it plays to children's natural strengths and helps them to self-regulate while learning. When material is presented in a way that engages multiple senses, the information becomes richer and those learning it become more motivated to participate actively in the learning. Research in neuroscience confirms that brain neurons that fire together, wire together. This means that when we teach using multiple senses simultaneously, neurons in the brain actually fire at the same time and wire together to create neural networks. These neural networks naturally integrate information to form a clear mental picture, as well as allow the brain to store and retrieve information more efficiently than with unisensory learning. Important advances in the science of reading have identified that the active view of reading pushes beyond the simple view of decoding skills and language comprehension skills in order to achieve strong reading fluency and comprehension. As this diagram demonstrates, active self-regulation, motivation, engagement, and mental systems such as attention, perception, and memory are foundational elements to reading fluency and comprehension. In addition, of course, are the elements of sight word recognition, phonological awareness, decoding skills, and vocabulary knowledge and language comprehension. Where does I words fit in? Well, we know that many high frequency words are tricky to decode because they don't follow regular patterns of phonics. Words like said, the, was, are, is, to are some examples. Some tricky words do follow phonetic patterns, but those patterns are often not taught until later in phonics scope and sequence instruction. For instance, look, go, and make. 
iWords combine multisensory cues with the orthographic mapping of sounds to teach sight word reading of those very important high frequency words. iWords combine an embedded contextual picture, related kinesthetic action, and meaningful auditory phrase with phonetic sound segmenting and blending. This process rapidly accelerates sight word reading or automatic reading of the high frequency words. In addition, iWords incorporates play-based activities to provide fun opportunities for students to solidify learning while also building social connections. iWords was the focus of iterative, evidence-based research conducted by an independent team of researchers out of Stanford University. The research study is published in Learning and Instruction, Volume 65, an international multidisciplinary peer refereed academic journal that provides a platform for the publication of the most advanced scientific research in the areas of learning, development, instruction, and teaching. The data clearly demonstrates that the iWords method of multisensory learning combined with phonetic segmenting and blending of sounds, represented by the green data plot, outperforms plain text high frequency word instruction with phonetic segmenting and blending of sounds, represented by the purple data plot. The data was collected over five different testing points over 18 days. The iWords condition group received instruction with multisensory cues, but were tested at all points on plain text words. The plain text condition received instruction using plain text words and were also tested at all points on plain text words. The results clearly show that the students grouped in the iWords condition were able to transfer their knowledge of words with multisensory cues to plain text and learned and retained more words than the plain text condition. If you want to read the full study, it is linked on our website or in our IG bio and can also be found on sciencedirect.com. The study highlights that a growing sight vocabulary contributes to more fluent reading as it allows a reader to quickly read entire words without having to decode them. When a child is able to read words automatically, they can maintain a smoother pace and focus on the meaning of the words being read. Because of the value and wide use of high frequency word instruction, a significant body of research has focused on teaching learners to sight read high frequency words. When integrated with phonics instruction, the research has demonstrated that iWords are proven to be statistically more effective method for learning to sight read the high frequency words than phonics instruction alone. This finding gives new direction to the future of high frequency word instruction. There is a multi-step process for the initial instruction of iWords multisensory sight words. Step one, sight word introduction. Present an iWords teaching card with the picture side showing. Say the word, provide the auditory cue, and model the kinesthetic action. Then have the learner repeat the word, say the auditory cue, and mirror the action. Step two, orthographic mapping. Review all the letter sounds by segmenting sounds. Point out any tricky sounds that are new to the learner. Then blend the sounds back together to sound out the word. Step three, kinesthetic games and activities. It is well understood that children learn naturally through active play. When children engage in play, their attention and learning retention is high. Each iWords multisensory teaching card set includes its own series of play-based reading games and activities designed to help learners sight read the high frequency words quickly, efficiently, in a fun and engaging way. Learners activate multiple modalities through experiences of moving, seeing, and hearing. Games and activities are organized by increasing level of difficulty. They should be initially introduced and played with the picture side of the iWords card showing. Activities are designed to support active regulation, motivation, social engagement, and mental system, systems such as attention, perception, and memory. Step four, now transition to plain text. As the learner progresses and is able to read the words with the picture side showing, flip the cards over and play the games and activities using the plain text side of the iWords teaching cards. Given the need to sight read the high frequency words, sight word instruction remains one component of a comprehensive literacy program for early readers and for older students experiencing reading difficulties as part of a reading intervention. 
The top 100 words from the three made word lists, Dolch, Fry, and Fountas and Fennell, when compared, comprise a total of 150 unique words, with the majority appearing on all three lists. iWords multi-sensory teaching cards, sets 1 to 3, words 1 to 150, encompass the top 100 words from all three of the main word lists. Free digital materials are available for download at iWords.com. Physical products are also available for purchase at iWords.com. We also have a wide selection of digital products available for purchase at iWords.com. iWords evidence-based multi-sensory reading materials are exceptionally effective in school settings to accelerate progress for all students and especially for those who have learning challenges. We are happy to submit vendor registration and procurement forms to school districts interested in having iWords be a resource supplier. To learn more about purchase orders, please visit iWords.com and click on the Purchase Order tab. To learn more, please visit us at iwords.com or email questions to info at iwords.com. Follow us on social media to find great ideas for sensory activities for classroom and home.